Good morning again, and uh, thank you um, for Pathways to give me this opportunity um, to introduce our next keynote speaker, who is uh, the Minister of Environment and Tourism uh, of Namibia. Um, and I hope you all had a good night's sleep. And um, let me start by um, saying that uh, Honorable uh, Poamba Shifeta um, is a political figure and a, a legal practitioner who is serving as a Minister of Environment and Tourism in the current cabinet uh, since 2015. Shifeta was born in a village up north um, in the country, which is in a region called the Ohangwena region. He has been an active um, in the, um, uh, the current um, uh, SWAPO, which is um, the organization that is leading uh, the current government at the moment in Namibia. And he's also been a very active uh, political figure not just in, in, in Swapo, but I have known um, Comrade Chifeta since we were students because we used to be activists way back in the late um, 80s. Uh, Chifeta was a, um, he has a diploma in public administration and he also has a BA degree in political science and he holds an LLB honors uh, degree at the moment. He has also been involved in the Swapo Party Youth League, so he was also a Swapo, uh, uh, one of the ministers. Uh, Swapo, uh, he was a youth minister. Shifeta was first elected in the National Assembly of Namibia in 2004 as a Swapo candidate. He has appointed, he was um, appointed as a deputy minister of youth, as I said, and he also served as part of the National Youth Service uh, Sport and Culture since uh, 2005, in March 2005, sorry. And he retained his position after 2009 um, as part of our general election. In December 2012, uh, we had a cabinet reshuffle. After the fifth SWAPO Congress, Shifeta was moved into post of Deputy Minister of Environment and Tourism. Um, in the current cabinet of our, uh, President Hake Pinkop's cabinet, he was appointed in March 2005, uh, and he was then promoted to the post of uh, Minister of Environment and Tourism, of which he is currently holding. So let me um, ask um, uh, Comrade Chifeta to come and give his uh, keynote speech. Good morning, and uh, thank you very much, Director of Ceremonies. I want to recognize all of you present here, organizers and um, speakers. It is indeed um, a honor for me and a privilege to be with you today as we open the Pathways Africa Conference. It is appropriate that uh, Namibia is the host country as the government of the Republic of Namibia fully impresses conservation and has incorporated this principle in our constitution. Pathways Africa 2018 focuses on the human dimensions of wildlife and it will be only the second time Pathways has been held outside of the United States of America, bringing an estimated number of 200 people from more than 20 countries to Namibia. With the theme, where we are living with the wildlife. This momentous event will inform future research, innovation, and the collaboration. It will also further the application of research in the field of human dimensions 
of uh, fish and wildlife management in Africa and beyond. Hosting this event, uh, the Warner College of Natural Resources of Colorado State University and our Cheetah Conservation Fund in partnership with the large convoy, um, the large convoy Management Association of Namibia and the Namibian Nature Foundation. Pathways Africa is bringing together visionary wildlife managers, leaders in conservation policy, students and academics who are forging new frontiers. Pathways Africa would not be possible without its sponsors. These are the one to thank the USAID East Africa Worldwide World Wildlife Fund, WWF Russell E, Train Education for Nature Program, Air Namibia, Go Greens Partnerships of Namibia Nature Foundation and NetBank, First National Bank of Namibia, the Namibia University of Science and Technology, Cincinnati Zoo, San Diego Zoo, Global the Africa Wildlife Foundation, Club Tree and Company, the Mural Foundation, GTZ, Wenduk, Wartons of Namibia, Namibia Breweries, John Mary and Kathleen La Martina, Taylor and Francis, Cake Farm, Aroko Duke, Colorado State University, um, and also the Warner College of Natural Resources, Human Dimensions of Natural Resources, and Cheetah Conservation Fund, and of course the Ministry of Environment and Tourism. One of the key components of Pathways is the capacity building training program that just um, concluded this three-day training provided a unique and valuable opportunity for 44 early to meet career conservation practitioners from 13 African countries to exchange ideas and um, build their human dimension skills. These participants attended training sessions focused on the leadership and the program management community-based conservation and monitoring, education and communication, human wildlife conflict mitigation, conservation and community economies, economics, and the more. Picking up where the training leaves off, Pathways Africa will spend the next three days delving on onto topics that will include new frontiers and innovation in the human dimension of wildlife. Research in Africa, the complexity of human wildlife conflict, livelihood, coexistence, mitigation, challenges in um, governance, one health economics and livelihoods, communication and engagement for conservation change, living with um, giraffes, spatial analysis, uh, risk perceptions, wildlife, tourism and uh, recreation, and technology innovation for effective conservation. And also uh, prevention, tolerance and motions, trophy traf 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 hunting, and also wildlife trafficking and uh, poaching. Pathways Africa examines the human dimensions in wildlife management. Namibia has long recognized that people play key roles in conservation and nature resource management. Wildlife managers, fishermen, and the foresters must practice sustainability to secure their livelihoods. Farmers in Namibia produce their cattle and their small, small stock while living alongside with the wildlife, including predators that we, most of us we fear. 
to coexist them with these animals and share the same habitats with them, this animal is not an easy lifestyle. Our communities bear the brand of conflict with wildlife, anim wild animals daily, and that is um, why Pathways Africa is so important. Wildlife practitioners from governments and NGOs worldwide can discuss how they address the human dimensions of wildlife and the natural resource management in their respective countries and areas. We can share in this work of information and learn from each other. The conference organizers have chosen the theme of living with wildlife. This is the Namibian philosophy of um, wildlife management. Namibia's conservancy model is internationally recognized and lays a strong foundation for communities to coexist with them, their wildlife. Our conservancies develop, devolve rights and engage communities in wildlife management and conservation. Today, we have over 100 community-based natural resources management conservancy, forests, and the fisheries programs in Namibia, covering more than 16 million hectares, which is approximately 20% of the landmass of Namibia. Overall, including national parks and the reserves, at least 44% of Namibia is under various forms of um, conservation management. This includes the largest um, contiguous protected landscape in Africa, stretching along the entire Namibia coastline, coastal line, a distance of about 1,570 kilometers from the South Orange River and the, to the North um, Kunene River, just the border of South Africa in the South and the border of Namibia, uh, Angola, in the north. However, some 8% of Namibia's wildlife is found out of government protected areas and is in the people's hands. The good stewardship of Namibia's natural resources is a source of national pride and it supports the Namibian economy. Having healthy wildlife population is one of the main reasons tourists visit Namibia. Tourism is the second largest industry and impacts everyone through the country, throughout the country. It contributes to the well-being of all Namibians. The tourism industry is recognized by the government as an important contributor to the generation of um, foreign exchange, earnings, investment, revenue, employment creation, rural development, poverty reduction, um, to the growth of the country's economy. Today, tourism contributes about 15% to the GDP and employs more than 100,000 people. If the current trend of developing tourism products in sustainable manner are strengthened and upheld at all times, tourism will be the key catalyst for growth and the nation building across all sectors, from education and the culture to agriculture and the fishing, amongst others. As Namibia's Minister of Environment and Tourism, it is my honor to manage and direct our conservation policies that support this growth. Our utilization of wildlife is guided and formed by sustainability principles and the application of science. It is a proven fact that sustainable um, utilization of wildlife and natural resources is fundamentally inextricably connected to su successful wildlife conservation in Namibia. We cannot achieve the targets of our sustainable development goal without this. Our eight two conservancies, these are community conservancies in Namibia, are proud of the fact that they have abandoned wildlife 
due to consumptive and non-consumptive sustainable utilization of wildlife and natural resources, which is fundamental. Our government has granted these local communities rights of ownership over those natural resources. Namibia's success is the result of legislation passed more than 20 years ago, that is in 1996, um, to empower local communities to actively manage and utilize their wildlife. This has become our pathways to success. Our conservation plan encourages wildlife recovery and restores the environment while improving people's livelihood in all communities. This plan has resulted in elephant population growing from 7,500 individuals in 1995 to the current one, more than 23,000 elephants. You might find it um, interesting that a large percentage of these elephants occur outside of formal protected areas. The worldwide large population of cheetah are found in Namibia. And also, um, some of these, uh, you find them in um, private farmlands. Namibia has the largest pop uh, black rhino population in the world. As well, um, and these individuals are on conservancy lands and are also protected um, through community-based NGOs. Our conservancies are our most important allies in the fight against poaching. Like I said, we have about, we have now 82 community conservancies and we have um, more population of wildlife in those conservancies, including the higher valued um, ones and those very sorted one, sort one, that's uh, rhinos and elephants for their horns and tusks respectively. In our experience, the local communities based in the conservancies are the champions of conservation. Once they experience benefiting fairly and equitably from conservation, the exceptional knowledge of um, the natural environment is invaluable for living with wildlife sustainably. It provides the foundation of human dimension in wildlife management. Of course, our government also plays a direct role by establishing appropriate wildlife policies. For instance, this um, past year, we brought forward a new policy on human wildlife conflict. Um, honestly speaking, transparency um, and accountability and a partnership are the underlying attribute that um, contribute to the good governance, good decision making and the sustainability. Our, respect, our responsibility lies with both in environmental conservation and uh, safeguarding the interests of human beings and their livelihoods. It is my belief that um, this can be harmonized. The earth is not ours. It is a treasure we hold in trust for future generations. And we just need to protect and conserve what we have today. To achieve this, we need to continue to search for sustainable ways in which nature and human beings can coexist peacefully. It's the motto of our cohorts, the Cheetah Conservation Fund State, we can live together. With um, these um, few remarks, uh, let me declare Pathways Africa 2018 conference officially open. And I thank you very much for your humble attention.